Hello and welcome everybody to another video log of creating a game with Godot. Today I will try a very different approach to this video log because I don't want to show you very much but instead I will talk a bit more and just uh, share my thoughts with you and my strategy and what I'm doing actual in the meantime. As you may notice I uh, focused on Godot tutorials the last weeks and wasn't that active in programming my recent project and this has a special reason. But before we go on that I just wanted to announce that there will follow more Godot tutorials so if you are interested in that and subscribe to my channel because of that please stay tuned I have some tutorials ongoing. I work on some tutorials and I will release them soon on YouTube. I also follow a new schedule on YouTube now, so I want to try to release every Friday a video log or a Goda tutorial and I will try to squeeze in other content in between if I can. Otherwise you can rely on that I will upload my videos on Friday. So there should be at least one video every week. So the topic for today is why I think it's uh, sometimes worth to cancel a project. That said. A big announcement, I cancelled my actual project Terralomania. We decided for that because the motivation wasn't high enough for the project and it was going into the wrong direction. So let me try to talk a bit about the project in itself and uh, I would like to share my feelings on that. So first of all when I decided to make a remake of Megalomania, so this was when the project was born, I thought it would be nice to rely on a gameplay which was uh, somehow proven in the 90s and I wanted to make a remake so I don't have to care a lot about the gameplay itself or the game design in general because the game already existed. So I tried to, or my idea better said was to uh, reinvent the game in modern style so make it more, yeah, more modern, make it working on actual PCs or consoles whatsoever and yeah just to recreate the game in some way to make it better looking i would say so the idea was clear i relied on the on the gameplay from the old game and tried to make it more modern and update the graphics yeah that said we worked on godot and started that we also had in mind that uh, we want to have a prototype as fast as possible so that we can bring out a demo or release a demo so players can try it and uh, check it out and we also wanted to have a Kickstarter campaign which we had to just see if there is any interest in the game or how the game is received in general. Yeah, All that was scheduled for three months so we wanted to create a small demo version and a Kickstarter campaign after th uh, three months after the start of the development. Yeah I thought we took a bit longer so it was about three to four months which was the, the first failure in that. Also the demo quality or the demo itself wasn't a cool game I would say. It was just some kind of technical prototype with no special atmosphere or good feeling at all. So what we missed was that the game was actually not fun at all and I think a video game should be fun and uh, yeah we missed that somehow but as usual if you're working on something you don't see it like uh, other guys so if someone says you yeah, hey your game isn't fun at all um, you always think no he's not right because I'm working on it and I'm spent a lot of time on that so yeah we, we made a big mistake here to not see that the game wasn't fun at all um, then we started the Kickstarter campaign as I said and also the Kickstarter campaign failed hard so we wanted to have something like 10k uh, dollar to continue the development. Yeah we needed the money just for development and graphic art and uh, etc you know like this. You always need some money even for indie games and game development isn't cheap at all and with projects uh, that size you always need some money to get it. Yeah. That said, uh, the Kickstarter campaign went totally wrong and there wasn't quite good feedback. So first there was a lot of very, uh, worrying about uh, the license for the game. We actually don't thought about that, that we uh, will need a license for re remaking the game. That's yeah another uh, mistake and a bit of naive thinking. <laughs> uh, 
I actually don't want it to remake the game uh, with the original assets or with some kind of the original things. So I don't thought of that I would ever need a license because we create uh, everything in ourselves. We create new assets, new game. Um, we just want to have the strong reference to the game. So it, it wouldn't be a really remake or just better set a clone of the game. And I couldn't think of that the people was, were worrying at all that uh, we aren't a licensed uh, game in general. So this was out of my mind in this case. And uh, yeah, actually, I think it's one of the reasons why Kickstarter went so badly. Another thing was I already said that the quality wasn't great. So the demo you, you could download wasn't fun at all. And that said, uh, the the user of course thought the game wasn't fun at all and that's the reason why they don't invest it into the campaign and one reason for that was that the polishing wasn't good enough the game wasn't fun at all and the game wasn't far enough developed so there was missing a lot of features and uh, yeah i came up with the solution if you are in this state it it would be better for me to don't uh, release a demo version or give some some insight in the technical prototype because the user played the game and they don't like it for for now because it, it wasn't good and if i haven't uh, give the demo out for download they maybe imagine the game better it is actually was at, at this state so i think this is the second reason why uh, the kickstarter went so badly yeah the third reason was many of the the kickstarter feedback was wasn't even player of the original game. So they don't had a reference to the game. And then of course they said uh, the gameplay and uh, the game itself wasn't modern enough and it wasn't cool to play. And if they don't have the reference at all, I don't think that it makes sense to play this game. And this I realized afterwards because we had a strong reference to the original game. Yeah, our target audience was the player of the original game. But there were a lot of players who would play the game even without the original reference and yeah they don't invest it into that because of the not modern gameplay or the, the yeah the struggling gameplay and the, the game design of uh, a 90 game of course so yeah that's it i think these are the, the biggest reasons of course there were some other reasons that uh, some said that the original was uh, quite better so why a remake at all and yeah in general i i think the conclusion is something like Nobody wanted a remake and nobody asked for a remake and uh, we just made it. I'm not sure when the campaign was actually finished, but I think it's already a month or two ago. And afterwards we tried, of course, what, what we can do with the project now. And we tried to uh, bring it into other directions. So we, we left the original gameplay and tried to yeah, make something out of the assets and the game that we don't wasted our time. And we struggled about two months now with uh, some things nobody actually wants. So um, we don't have a cool game design. We just wanted to reuse the assets and, and don't waste our development we had so far. But in the end, we realized that we have to cancel the project. And that's what, the, uh, what this video is about. I think it's a good decision to make that you have to cancel your project if it's not going in the right direction. Indie business is hard and takes a lot of time and most likely you pay a lot on top of it and uh, you won't be earning a lot if you haven't hit on uh, some platform. But there's one reason in indie business I think why everyone is doing it. We have passion for it. We like what we're doing and yeah, you should do that. So if you came up with a game design like we did where you just try to uh, work on the game because you have the asset or wasted already some time it wasn't cool at all because nobody had fun with the game nobody liked the new idea it was just some kind of a compromise uh, why yeah because we don't want it to to waste our time or throw away our development we had so far but in the end it's i think it's the better way to cancel a project and just say okay we failed with that and now we focus on something new. We did that on last week, so now we are on a much better track. We came up with a complete new game design, which also sticks a little bit to some assets, so we can reuse some assets from the previous game. But we uh, yeah, came up with a complete new game design. We had a lot more creativity because we don't have the boundings of some remake where we have actually some old gameplay in it. 
where we have to uh, think about it. No, we could think out of the box and I think we came up with a very, very cool idea. And uh, yeah, we will work on that in future. And of course you will uh, hear a lot of information about this here. And I will also show off some details within the next videos. I just wanted to share these feelings or how it was uh, going wrong with the project. And I hope you liked it so far or yeah, I hope to, you enjoy to hear some insights about or you actually care about some insights. Um, yeah, if you like it or you would say something, please comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some more Goda tutorials if you like to. Bye.